Hello guys, today I have created a sales page using WordPress plugin called Elementor. And I've created this sales page to promote my online course in udemy.com. And the big thing is that I want you to have the exact sales page templates. I'm going to teach you how to import this sales page using Elementor plugin and also going to teach you how to fine tune and edit from scratch. So firstly, take a look at this sales page. So when people go to your sales page, this is the first impression they will see. They have entrance animations. I'm going to let you see it again something like this. Visitors without even navigate themselves, they can see the whole picture of your sales page. You have your title, you have your YouTube videos integrated into this sales page, subtitle, and the icons description. And most important part is the buy button with the hover animations as I move my mouse towards it. And also the social network button. And you can have all this amazing animations and the features. Carry on, if you scroll down, you will see some other animation as well, like this, introducing DIY online course. If I move my mouse, you can see there's another hover animations. Hover means if I move my mouse towards the pictures or buttons, they will have animations, something like this. Blah, blah, blah. How does this benefit you? This is something, a pretty important section in a sales page, you can see the uh, animated icons. Don't worry, I will give you all the animated icons together with the download file. While well, moving for the next part, here are the descriptions for me, online instructor, YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. And you can take a look at this amazing graphics and animations. So if I move my mouse away, it changes. If I move my mouse towards the questions and answers section, changes as well. So in this section, people can look at what kind of typical questions people would ask and get the answers. Well, moving to the last part is the instant action trigger where you can attract visitors to take action now with great discount. So this is how I close it in a typical sales page. Sometimes there will even more section you can add, but this is how a typical and simple yet attractive sales page would look like. So if people are interested, they will click on it, they will enter to a payment page or even a more elaborate page. All right, let's go back from here and go up. So right now, all you have to do is click on the download link at the description below. Just click it and download the zip file. All right, just download the zip file and simply unzip it. So once you have unzipped the file, these two things that you will see. You have your JSON file for the Elementor plugin, which you're going to import that sales page into your own WordPress dashboard. And also I've given you some of the images that you might need it. Previous comments saying that I didn't really teach them how to integrate into the uh, WordPress because it doesn't look exactly the same. So right now, I'm going to teach you how to fine tune after you import this amazing sales page. So how to do that? So I have another website called JB Innovator. It still haven't been amend, edit or design yet. You can just take a look at this very, very raw homepage without anything. This is a very good way to start. So basically, I have installed Elementor plugin. Please install it if you still haven't. Once you install it, you will see a Elementor icon on the left hand side below the dashboard. Click on it and you will basically see nothing if you don't have anything yet. Right now, let's import my sales page. So you just move your mouse towards import templates, choose files and click on the file that you have downloaded. Click on this JSON file and click open. And click import now. So once you import, you will basically see the title JBJT 
underscore sales underscore page right now let's take a look at it first see how it varies against my own design page so this is probably something that you might see totally out of order totally disoriented you may feel granted you may feel unhappy why these things happen to me but anyway i noticed one thing is that somehow you still can't integrate the images into your own wordpress you can see the icons are still there probably elemental has upgraded their version so when you import sales page you'll import together the images inside the sales page so if i'm not mistaken you will get the images however i will still teach you how to upload the images into this sales page and fine-tune them